A fatty acid is a long chain carboxylic acid. The term long chain just refers to um, the molecule having a chain of carbon atoms that is particularly long, typically between 12 and 20 carbon atoms. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This 12 chain carboxylic acid is a fatty acid known as lauric acid, which is a component of coconut oil. Lauric acid is a naturally occurring fatty acid, and like all naturally occurring fatty acids, it has an even number of carbon atoms. Naturally occurring fatty acids, I'm going to abbreviate fatty acids, FA. Naturally occurring fatty acids have an even number of carbon atoms. So 12 or 14 or 16 or 18. This has to do with the way that they are synthesized in nature, two carbon atoms at a time. Lauric acid is an example of a saturated fatty acid. A saturated fatty acid is one that has only carbon-carbon single bonds. Single bonds. Now, of course, all fatty acids are going to have a carbon-oxygen double bond. That's a component of the necessary functional group. But a saturated fatty acid is one where all of the bonds between the carbon atoms are single bonds. Of course, it is pretty common to have a double bond present in the molecule. So I'm going to put a double bond in this molecule, which means it's not going to be lauric acid anymore. I'm going to put a double bond like right there, like that. When we put a double bond in the molecule, it is now called an unsaturated fatty acid. The term saturated is referring to um, the molecule being covered with a maximum number of hydrogen atoms. So a molecule that is unsaturated has a carbon-carbon double bond. The stereochemistry around these carbon-carbon double bonds is the same as any type of alkene. So for example, the orientation around this carbon-carbon double bond could be trans, as it is being shown here, or it also could be cis. Naturally occurring fatty acids have um, cis, usually have cis bonds. So naturally occurring fatty acids, unsaturated fatty acids, usually have cis double bonds. The bond that we're looking at here is trans, so this is what we would refer to as a trans fatty acid, or in kind of general not notation, we call this a trans fat, because it has a trans bond. When we have only one carbon-carbon single bond, like in the molecule that I've drawn above, we refer to that specifically as being monounsaturated. Monounsaturated means that we have exactly one carbon-carbon double bond, mono being the prefix for one. When you have multiple carbon-carbon double bonds, which is possible, you could have more than one, then that molecule is described as polyunsaturated, which means many unsaturations. Polyunsaturated is defined as two or more carbon-carbon double bonds. I'm going to make this molecule back to a monounsaturated again. I'm going to erase those bonds. When we have a carboxylic acid that has at least one bond in it, the molecule can be further described, not just by its name, but can be further described based on the location of the double bond. This particular molecule is an example of an omega-5 fatty acid. 
You may have heard the omega number being associated with fats or fatty acids before. This notation is referring to the location of the carbon-carbon double bond on the carbon chain. Now, normally when we locate a carbon-carbon double bond, we start at the beginning of the molecule. In this case, we start at the carboxylic acid and we count carbon atoms in the molecule counting away from that functional group. So normally we would locate this double bond on carbon number seven. The omega system actually has us counting backwards in the molecule. So instead of carbon number one being at the beginning of the molecule, the omega system has us making carbon number one be at the very end of the molecule, and we count from the end back to the beginning. This carbon-carbon double bond starts on carbon number five when we're counting backwards, and so we refer to this as omega-5. Omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet, so this notation omega means that you need to start counting from the end, from the, from the end of the alphabet, essentially. And this notation is just used as a way of describing the type, the location of the double bond. And one last thing that I want to note on here, one last definition that we have, an essential fatty acid. An essential fatty acid is a fatty acid that is needed by humans. The human body needs it to survive. And it cannot be synthesized in our body. We can't make it. So it can't be made in our bodies, which means that it has to be part of our diet. For, for us, for humans, the essential fatty acids are linoleic and linolenic. These are corn oil and soy oil. So they are, at least in the US, it's pretty easy to get those in our diet because they are a component of a lot of the different types of foods that we eat.